So first off, first thing we got to do is get this thing open. So I already have the battery uh, part out. We have to remove the rubber grips. On the two sides. And there's two more back here we have to remove because there's screws under there we have to get access to. That one off, this one off. So then we need an Allen an L wrench, an Allen wrench. Um, tiny Allen wrench, the tiniest one. <laughs> Just about. I don't know what exactly what size this is. If you have an L wrench uh, collection, just uh, try all the tiny ones and see which one uh, fit. But you, there's four screws you have to remove, uh, five screws you have to remove on the Devo 7E. Here, 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 and here. This one here. Okay, so I'm recording all of this with my phone, so there's not a lot of space here, not a lot of memory on my phone, so I'm going to be cutting in and out, but I'm going to try to make it as detailed as possible. So after you remove this one, this one, that one, and that one, then you have another tiny one here that you have to remove, same size. After you removed all of those, then you have to make sure you open this little battery bay down here. And then this comes open like this. There we go. And now you don't want to just pull it fast because you have some things you have to disconnect. You have to disconnect this here, unplug this one. And as you can see, the antenna does come up through the, uh, the top there. So you unplug both of these, unplug those so you have it apart, and then let me just sit this up there. Okay, now what the part that we're dealing with, let me get my L, L wrench, is this part here. This here is the NRF 21L01 transmitter part here and it comes with the antenna and it, I got this from Banggood this is the pin out here we're on hack, hacksmods.com and so he's got it color coordinated uh, so you know exactly where it goes on the the transmitter, there it is. So, let me get this. You see here, this is uh, the red uh, color and he's showing you that the red color matches here. So you will put a wire from this red part to this red part here on the uh, transmitter. And so, and this is the yellow part, so this, Yellow is going to go here. It's going to be sided here on the transmitter. This is orange. This orange part is going to be sided here on the transmitter. The green here on the transmitter and the black, which is the ground, is going to be sided here. So they made it fairly easy for you to uh, be able to get this right and not screw it up. So you can pause it here and look at it for yourselves. Or you can just go to hackmods.com and look for, what's it called, the NRF24L01 Devo 70, 7E pinout. So we're going to go in on this right now. OK, 
Okay, we got our setup here. Got this soldering iron here. We got our wet sponge here. We got our solder here. I have lead free, but I think uh, the solder with lead works a little uh, easier, I think. Uh, but this has a, a higher, uh, you have to heat this to a higher temperature in order for it to melt. So I like using that. Um, we're just going to stick our tablet back here in the background with the pin out on it. It'll stay back there. Well, you guys can't see that, but I can see it pretty well. Pin out, you're going to have to uh, get to that page and look at that pin out. <laughs> If you can't see what well, you're probably not going to be able to see exactly what I'm doing. This stuff is really small. It's just solder all the wires onto the pins. Yeah. There you go. Now we just have to follow the color coordination of the uh, pin out. So this thing here. Now that I'm done all the uh, soldering of the uh, wires to the correct points that they're supposed to be at. Hot glue. <laughs> hot glue gun. So I just use the hot glue to uh, sort of keep the wires in place. Um, to keep them from shifting around a lot. Um, from uh, shaking the transmitter, you know, whatever stresses that uh, the uh, component, the module might go through um, from the transmitter dropping. Uh, I know we don't want the transmitter to drop, but we do our best to try not to let it drop. But if it did, uh, this hot glue um, being on the circuitry in the spots that I soldered uh, should help with stress the different stresses it might go through to stop the wires from shifting a lot and uh, making the connections loose. Okay, now, so the last thing that you have to do with this is this antenna here. You have to connect the antenna here to this connection in here. So you just snap that on there. Shouldn't be too hard to do. It's really about just getting it lined up. I had it. There we go. Now, did the, this is what I did with mine. I put a hole through here with the soldering iron to put this antenna through. It's getting there. Let's widen it up. Okay, in order to install the firmware on the Devo 7E, you're going to have to go to the Deviation website. Um, from the home page, you go over here to Links. Click on Links. And then you're going to go down to here. Click on that. Then you're going to scroll all the way down over to here. Dimension Diffuse USB Upgrade Tool, and you're going to click on that. And that's where you get the diff Diffuse Tool from. Okay, so this is where you're going to go to get the firmware, the deviation firmware for the Devo 7E. DeviationTX.com. And so you're going to go here to downloads click on that deviation releases so you got deviation 4.0.1 and nightly builds those are like uh, builds that people are working on uh, sometimes they might have bugs the complete releases are here so you're gonna go 
they got test builds there too. That's, they usually have the new protocols on them. So you're gonna go there and you're gonna find the Devo 7E and you're gonna download that zip there. You can either click on that or you can go over here to downloads and click on downloads and download the software. Defuse USB upgrade. So once you install that into your computer, you get it opened up and you're going to see this here. Now, the next thing you do, um, you have to find the the DFU file that you downloaded, that's the update file. Open that, and so now that's loaded in here. Now on your Devo, what you wanna do is hold down the EXT button and then turn it on. So now it's ready to upgrade. It's ready to uh, flash firmware. Plug in your USB. In the side port and now just hit this upgrade button click yes and you should see this right here at the bottom showing the progress of the update Right now it's erasing the firmware that's on it and then it's going to uh, download some new firmware in there. Now it's downloading. Again, links are in description on uh, where where you have to go to get these tools. Upgrade successful. Okay, so after you get the upgrade successful, uh, what you wanna do is quit. You're gonna turn off your Devo. Okay. But then you're gonna hold down the ENT button on this side and turn it on. Okay. And so that'll bring up your uh, folders. Okay, so now, oops, I didn't mean to make it big like that. Let me turn it back small. Now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna go back to the folder where you, uh, that you downloaded and you're gonna Highlight everything in that folder except the debug zip and the deviation DFU. So you're going to copy everything over to your transmitters folder except for those two. The debug zip and the deviation DFU file. You don't copy those over, but everything else you just copy over. In order to activate um, the module, you have to hold down the ENT button. Turn on the transmitter, and a folder should pop up on the computer here. So you can go into the transmitter. You have to go here to hardware, I and I, double click on that. Now in here you have to change something. I already did it on, on this one, so it doesn't have to be done, but let me show you exactly where it is. Make sure you guys can see that. You have to enable the module. So you have to find the module. This is the module here, NRF24L01. L and there's a semicolon that's usually there. You have to remove that semicolon from there. And then you're going to 
change this one here to A13 as if as mine is right here you're gonna have to, this is gonna say A14 you're gonna change this to A13 and remove the semicolon from here uh, by the one and that enables the module uh, any as you can see it there's a semicolon here the semicolon makes the uh, transmitter disregard that line of information so in order to enable the module you have to remove the semicolon that come that precedes it so it would have been here so I removed the lines already so take the semicolon from there and you have to turn this to 813 and that enables the module and then you all set you just turn your transmitter back off again turn it back on and everything should work great it's too bright to see the dialogue of what it's saying but everything is working great now so that's it we have modded and flash the deviation Devo 7E with custom firmware and so that's it we're done with modding our Devo and so let's test it out now see that that's the new that's the uh, Skywalker the XY Skywalker. We're going to see if we can bind to that. It's on the Huying protocol. And so, there we go. Here we go. Thanks for watching.